Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medicual plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, stud removal uh, feature that I've added into the wall plugin. So this is a very simple feature, and I'm going to go ahead and just get started here, draw a little wall, and we'll explain how this works. So first of all, uh, let's just go ahead and put a rectangular wall here. Uh, nothing too big, just a 16-foot wall. And... <clears throat> Let's just start with one wall, that's easy enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn the gypsum off just so we can see the studs that are in this wall. Okay, so typically, you know, when you draw a wall, you've got uh, your studs that are spaced out, uh, you know, 16 inches on center or whatever spacing you might happen to have. So previously, if you wanted to remove a stud, um, you know, you could use the, uh, I guess you could manually remove it. Uh, the only problem with that, of course, is like, let's say, let's go ahead and remove a couple studs here real quick. Um, as soon as you regen this wall or edit it, uh, those studs will reappear. So the manual editing method, of course, is not parametric. Uh, any edits that you manually make, the, the plugin does not keep track of and will essentially remove them once you uh, edit or regen that wall. So what I've done is <clears throat> to deal with that, in case you do happen to want to remove a particular stud in the uh, array of studs here in the wall, is let's go ahead and edit this wall assembly. So if you go down to the advanced options, right to the very bottom here, you're going to see um, this remove studs field now. So and if you go here, it'll say enter studs, stud number to remove delimited by commas. Do not enter spaces into string. So let's go ahead and just start with uh, stud one. Just put the number one there, hit update. And the first thing you'll notice is that first stud is gone. Uh, let's say let's uh, eliminate the third and the fifth stud. Notice how I put the comma between the uh, numbers. And notice it has removed those studs. So what you can do, um, and what I recommend, is if there is a particular stud you want to remove, just click into the group. And if you go ahead and select any one of these studs, you're going to notice that the instance name for each stud is different. So it'll say stud 1, stud 9, stud 10 whatever it might be. That way you can uh, quickly determine you know, which stud number this is. So this is stud 11. So we want to remove that last stud. Um, <clears throat> we would just go here and let's see, let's go ahead and select 11 as well. And you can see that has removed that stud as well. Okay, so let's go back. Let's just remove number five, for instance. And the other thing I wanted to point out is that, you know, if you do add windows and doors, um, let's say we put a window right here. I mean, it doesn't really matter where, but well, notice that you know whenever you do add a window, um, the studs that were there, where you know where your uh, headers and trimmers, or not headers and trimmers, but your king studs and trimmer studs are, of course, it will remove those studs or replace them with the king studs and, and trimmer studs. But you'll notice that the cripple studs that would have been there are have now been removed. So basically. Um, you know, this works regardless of whether you have windows and doors or not. Um, it will still remove the uh, respective stud in that location. So, again, it uh, doesn't matter. You can add windows and doors and the stud, remo stud removal feature still works. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to point out as well that um, this feature also works for uh, gable walls, shed walls, all of the above. Um, let's go ahead and do a gable wall just to demonstrate that real quick. Okay, so gable wall, notice the stud's still there. I'm going to go back to rectangular wall and also show you what happens if we go a, uh, let's see here, let's do a zero stud ply, which actually will do a staggered stud wall. And notice, of course, these staggered studs now, but again, <clears throat> the same spot has had that stud removed. So staggered stud, same thing. And then we can also do uh, multiply studs. So for instance, same difference there. And last but not least, let's just uh, do one other example. And I just want to show you with steel. So steel, let's go ahead and change that top plate quantity to one because that's usually more typical. And same thing there, it does remove the studs. So again, um, Pretty basic feature, not a whole lot going on here, but uh, might be useful for certain applications. 
Um, I do know sometimes, you know, when you're doing like a shear wall and you end up with a stud like literally on top of one of your hold downs because you've got a big thick post and then you got a hold down, um, you know, there might be a situation where you, the plugin will not remove a particular stud from a location by default. And then that way, you know, you can get in here and you can selectively say, hey, I don't want that stud in the way. And you can get that out of the way with this tool. So. Yeah, I think it's a useful feature, and um, you know, if you have any questions or suggestions on this, uh, please go ahead, uh, shoot me an email. And uh, again, I appreciate everybody's support, and we'll talk to you guys later.